name is Miss Rachel Booth and I am the teacher of music here at Rochdale Sixth Form College. Today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of what it's like to study music here and the kind of things that you can expect within your lessons. So first of all, welcome to music. What will you study? So there's three different elements that you will study here and they are analysis, composition and performance. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those in detail now. Within analysis, we study several different sort of factors and areas of study. So the first one is the West, Western classical tradition, which is where we'll study composers uh, from between 1750 to the 1900s and the development of the symphony and how they developed the symphony. Our main focus is on Haydn and his 104 London symphonies, which is something to note if you want to get doing some homework early, you can't harm to do that. And we also study Mendelssohn. We also study rock and pop. So this is where we'll look at several different genres from across the different uh, decades. And um, obviously what is stylistically accurate to each of those genres and listening out for those different excerpts. And then we also look at into the 20th century, which is where we'll study about composers such as Debussy. When it comes to the composition, we start off in your first year with a free composition, which is super fun. Um, so. So long as you can tell me whatever a genre is and you can justify that, you can compose whatever you like. Obviously, I will give you a helping hand to be able to guide you through to composing, um, but you can literally compose whatever you like in the first year. In the second year, you, in September, we get given a classical brief, which is what you compose in the second year, um, and we use pro, uh, programs such as Sibelius. For the free composition, we also use programs such as Logic Pro X, and that's more if you're doing something contemporary, but if you're doing something a little bit more classical, we choose Sibelius. And then we also study performance, as we just said. Now, within performance, every week you receive one-to-one 30-minute -one tuition with, uh, with a tutor that specializes in your instrument that you've chosen to study, and you'll learn three different pieces of obviously in your second year you'll solidify those three pieces you can learn more throughout those two years uh, but you'll choose three pieces that you'll go forward and do in your final exam so how are you assessed leading on from what I've just been talking about the performance assessment is worth 35 percent of your overall mark and this is chosen uh, this is done by one exam at the end of the two years and you'll do three pieces um ranging from between grades six, seven and eight, which is obviously where your one-to-one -one tutor will lead you up to being. And then you also do a final exam, which is worth 40% of your overall mark. That is your analysis section. So that's where the Western classical tradition, the rock and pop and the 20th century come in. Uh, and that's at the end of your two years. And then you have your composition, which is worth 25% of your overall mark. And that is coursework done throughout the two years. What can you expect in your lessons? There's several things you can expect in your lessons. We have um, quite a lot of compositional lessons because obviously it's good to get to know the software and it's a great way of building up on your music theory. You can expect music theory and lots of it um, where we'll study about chords, um, we'll do oral dictation, uh, rhythmic dictation, melodic dictation, there's quite a lot of dictation, uh, but it is super fun and really, really interesting. We also study, say for example, for rock and pop, we'll listen to extracts of music uh, throughout the different genres and ages. And you'll be able to start listening to what's going on and picking out the musical elements, such as like dynamics, tonality, texture, harmony, melody, all those different kinds of things and uh, like instrumental techniques, etc. And then we also study Haydn, which is something I mentioned uh, before. And we'll look at score reading and all those different kinds of things. Trips and visits. Now, this is the fun one. This is what everybody wants to know. Uh, this is where uh, music really has a chance to go and explore music itself. Um, we have currently got a trip going to the Beatles Museum in, Lon in London, in Liverpool, um, which is where obviously we'll go down for the day, learn about what inspired them to write the music, how they came around, all of the memorabilia, which is super exciting. So what studying music can lead to? There's several things music studying music can lead to. You can become a teacher like myself. You could go on to working at the BBC with the radio or as a sound engineer. You could go into foleying. You could go into actually becoming a professional musician. You could go and be a orchestral player. There's all sorts that it can lead to. Um, you can do this by studying further, obviously, at 
places like the Royal Northern College of Music, Leeds University, BIM, and several other places such as um, the Manmet University. I know they have a section in Crew that does music and all production. That's something else that you could go on to do. You could go on to producing music. So task, I have a task for you to leave you off with. What I would like you to do over the summer is to download a free piece of music compositional software. So if you have a Apple product, you could use a uh, garage band that's free. If you've deleted it, re-download it. Um, and if you don't have an Apple product, there are so many different pieces of free software out there, such as Fruit Loops. Just go and have a research, just type in free compositional software and something will come up for you. What I would like you to do is compose a one minute piece of music Okay, it could be anything you want, okay? Just one piece of music and start having to listen to what it is that really makes a piece of music and how it comes together. And the best thing is, is that you'll be bringing that in in September and I can have a listen to it and see what you've done. So thank you so much for listening and I'll hopefully see you in September. Thanks very much. Bye guys. <laughs>